Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another The Scarlet Keys campaign playthrough. And this time we have left Havana to South America. And uh, first off, let's uh, see how we globetrotted this time. So, first uh, embarking was from Havana to uh, Rio de Janeiro. So, we went from uh, uh, through San Juan, which we can't stop yet into, and then we went to Rio de Janeiro. There uh, we met Dr. Iravon. So uh, that encounter just made us gain one experience. Uh, it is the theory of annihilation. So uh, this doctor was uh, researching the disappearances of these uh, species, which are possibly linked to the disappearances in the happening uh, throughout the world. So after that uh, we continued our trek to Buenos Aires. So uh, in Buenos Aires we are tracking a thief. Uh, it is the uh, La Chica Roja. Uh, so she is stealing stuff all over uh, Buenos Aires, and uh, we meet a um, foundation member, uh, Matthias Bolivar. And after talking to uh, Matthias, we uh, got collaborate with him. So uh, now Matthias Bolivar trusts us, and we added one tablet and uh, removed one Elder Thing token from the Chaos Pack. But we already have four, so we gained one experience. So we have a total of Quite experience before the scenario starts, so at this point I decided to upgrade my deck. Uh, it is a bit unclear if you can upgrade at this point, but I'm doing so. I'm basically sticking to the rule that you will upgrade your deck just before you set up the scenario. So we head to the setup uh, after we gain that one experience. So. Uh, we have five experience to spend, so we got three from uh, Dancing Mad, and then we got one for meeting the Dr. Irvan, and then one for gaining Matthias's trust. Uh, let's hop over to ArkhamCDB.com and see what kind of upgrades I did to the deck. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamCDB.com, and no major changes. Uh, the only change is that I removed the old keyring. I uh, never played it and it seemed like every time it just ended up as a hollow. Uh, then uh, I haven't used this card ever so I thought that one of deck should have one of these really powerful uh, skill cards. So I added the all-in into the deck so this really boosts my card draw if I succeed by a lot uh, to a maximum of five so we can basically draw our, a lot of our one-offs at one go when we commit this into a skill test that we succeed. But of course this is removed from the game, so it is only one spare scenario card. But it is still really powerful, so I thought I'd make uh, it work in this deck. So let's try it out. So that is basically all I changed into the deck, so let's hop back over to the world map. So, uh, we are in Buenos Aires and the scenario name is um, Sanguine's Shadows. So, we are trying to find this um, La Chica Roja, which, uh, who is stealing artifacts or valuables in the city, but uh, is, has eluded capture for now. So, let's see how this goes. So, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to start. So uh, we start at the Avenida de Mayo, and uh, based on the difficulty of the uh, game, uh, its shroud changes. So we are playing on standard, so the shroud is three. Then uh, we have targets re written down here on the scenario reference card or this uh, card. Uh, we have targets on all of these locations that are in play. Then uh, we also have La Chica Roja in the shadows. And uh, she has a concealed 5. So we put 6 
a concealed card all over this map and try to find where she is. So uh, we, our objective is to expose the thief's whereabouts if an investigator engages. La Chica Roja advance. Then, um, dependent on the player, uh, at the start of the game or after the agenda deck resets, set the amount of doom on this agenda to one per investigator. So we start with one doom. And first, after you expose a decoy, La Chica Roja attacks you. Uh, hint, when this agenda advances, La Chica Roja will collect one of the pieces she seeks. So I think we need to try to pick up these targets faster or find find her faster than she can collect this. So we'll see how this goes. So um, we start there. Uh, we have shuffled the deck. So let's draw our opening hand. One, two, three, four, five. Hoping to get a good start. So uh, first off, we got the thief skit, sneak attack, um, lock picks in, tell report, and all in. I'm keeping uh, all in. Thief skit, sneak attack, just in case. I think I can let these two go. So I am drawing two cards. We redraw Agent Fletcher. Dirty fighting, nice, and uh, the moon. That that is a really good top deck from there. So we'll shuffle these back into the deck. So the moon comes into play straight away. That is great. We our agility is boosted already to six, and uh, quick shuffle here, and we'll get going. Oh my, action! Uh, here, so I'll place them over here. And we are ready to go. So, I think first thing is that we would want to um, get this clue. So, I I'll do a quick setup for the first round. So, I'll play Dirty Fighting. It is a key card for some of the things we want to do. That is... No. <laughs> First off, I'll play the Thieves Kit. So, this is because we will get resources from Thieves Kit. And uh, then we can play the Dirty Fighting. So, I'm immediately, as a second action, using the Thieves Kit to investigate. And I'm committing all in to this test. Uh, we are investigating 6, 7, 8, 9 versus 3. So we're up by six, so I want to succeed by a lot and draw a lot of cards here. So up by six, and uh, we draw a minus one. So that's up by five, so we get the full effect of the all-in. So this goes uh, out of the game, but we draw five cards. So one, two, three, four, five. That is great. Uh, so we get, uh, I'll take that. Uh, we also gain two resources. But now I'm. I uh, think I can't play this because we just drew it. Uh, then we get the grappling hook, nimble, kicking the hornet's nest, and trench goes. So, really good start. Last action. I will play the dirty fighting. And. Uh, That is, uh, oh yeah, we succeeded by a ton, so yeah, we got two resources, so I'll pay for the dirty fighting, and that is our whole turn, of course, we got the clue here also. Uh, no enemies that are uh, on the table, uh, we draw a card in the upkeep, Chuck, Fergus, great, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so two of seven. The first encounter card for, of the game is knives in the dark. Put knives in the dark into play in your threat, threat area if there is no no copy of it in your threat area. Otherwise, it gets search. After you expose a decoy, take two damage. Limit once per round. At the end of your turn, test 
Uh, agility 3, if you succeed, discard knives in the dark. So we want to get rid of that before we start uh, revealing decoys. Okay, well, uh, let's see what we want to do at uh, this round. So I think we'll head down to here, for example. And uh, so we move here. It is a shroud of three, one clue, uh, action, spend one clue, test willpower four to stake out the rafters of the opera house. You may spend one additional clue to reduce the difficulty of this test by two. If you succeed, look at the revealed side of a concealed mini car at this location without exposing it. For every two points that you succeed by look at an additional mini car at this location. Okay, well, we don't need to do that at the moment, but uh, then that that is our first action move there. Second action, we will investigate. And uh, I think I'm not committing anything. So we are investigating uh, 7 versus 3. So we're up by 4. Or should we? So the excess amounts you succeeded by. So we could commit something. Hmm, thinking I do I need the grappling hook that much? Because I'm I'm wanting to play the either the trench coat or the grappling hook here. Maybe I want to play the grappling hook, so I'll commit the trench coat. Or Mm, a difficult choice here. Okay, so we are up by four. So uh, we have some resources. So we can spend some resources if we don't uh, succeed by enough. So I'm um, investigating uh, seven versus three. And it is an elder sign. So it is a plus one. So we succeed by enough. We get this clue, we get two resources, and uh, we will take that. So I'll take that. So I'm uh, succeeded by enough. So I can play an item asset from your hand. And I think I will. We'll, I'll take a risk. I'll play the French coat. That is just so I have more damage soak and uh, more uh, evasion potency if, if I hit enemies. So uh, then, so uh, move, investigate. That was a fast play. Last action, I'll play Jack Purpose here. And that is everything we want to do. We'll test this now. So I'm testing 6 versus 3. I really don't have good cards to commit here, so I'll just test it. It is a skull, and a skull is an X. X is the number of targets on this card, so it's a 0. Okay. So, uh, we get rid of this, which is great. Next round we can start trying to reveal some concealed cards. Uh, no enemies, uh, we'll go to upkeep, we draw a card, calculate the risk, and we gain a resource. That is that round, let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a doom, uh, three of seven encounter card is a hunting knight card. Well, um... It spawns on us. Well, I think we need to evade it. Uh, 
So I'm evading um, seven versus one. Zero, we evade. So uh, this knight count is evaded. Second action, we will uh, evade it again. And I'm using dirty fighting to get the plus two for that skill test. So uh, we are again uh, nine against one. Uh, I mean, 11 against one because we add our intellect to this evasion. So 11 versus one. And it is a zero, so this enemy is discarded. That's really good. And last action, we will we'll just save the thief's kit and evade his concealed card. Uh, tablet is a minus one cancel, the effects and icons of each card committed to this skill test. Well, we didn't commit anything, so we get to reveal this. It is a decoy, so La Chica Roja attacks us for one damage and one horror. And I'll take it. But we know she is not here. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw Pilfer and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. 4 of 7 encounter card is... Calling card. Evidence. Revelation attached to a location with, uh, without a target and without a copy of calling card attached. While calling card is in play, clues cannot be spent at any location. After you succeed, successfully investigate at that location by two or more discard calling card. Look at the revealed side of concealed mini card at any location without exposing it. So the only location without a uh, target is this, so I'll just place it here. I think we are heading there this round and uh, revealing that card. Okay, well, first action, we will just move out of here. Second action, we will evade. So let's first see. After you successfully investigate that that's location by two or more discard calling card, look at the reveal side of concealed mini card at uh, any location. Well, I think I'm investigating then, and I'm using the thieves kits. So we are uh, six, seven. Uh, let's come five. Six, seven, five, six, seven uh, against three. Minus one. Uh, we'll get two resources. We'll get to discard this. And we get to look at the card at any location. So I'm just checking this. So it's a decoy. We don't want to reveal that one. So, uh, last action, we are just trying to reveal this one. So I'm evading it. Actually, let's wait for the next round. Last action, I'll play... Uh, we don't need the grappling hook yet. Uh, I'll save my resource. I'll just uh, evade this concealed card. So, evading... Uh, Five, six, seven versus three. It is a minus one, and we didn't commit anything, so we get to reveal this one. And we find the La Chica Roja. Well, that was lucky. So, expose the thief's whereabouts. If an investigator engages La Chica Roja, advance. Exposed. Uh, if this is the first time this act has been advanced, Advanced, uh, follow, uh, following all your leads, you manage to beat La Chica Roja to her target and lie in ambush. She arrives soon after and sets to work, but it's not long before she realizes something is wrong. She hums a chassis improvisation and saunters around the room, scanning for something. Come on out, she says at last, a smirk on her lips. You reveal yourself and tell her to stop what she is doing or what she cannot 
you you gotta make me and uh, okay so so we put this here so in the searchlight you finally have her in your sights Chikaroha gains action poly test um, uh, intellect or agility 6 to outsmart the thief you may spend one clue to reduce this test difficulty by two. If you fail, La Chikaroha attacks you. Uh, if La Chikaroha would be defeated, it's dead advance. If an investigator parlays with La Chikaroha advance. So I think we are trying to parlay with her. So uh, there are no enemies in the shadow, so all of these get removed. And La Chica Roja is um, engaged with us, so we'll mark, mark her down. Let's first look at her card a bit more closely. So, uh, 3, 5, 2 ev uh, health and 5 evade. Humanoid Conteri Elite Concealed 5. Uh, when an investigator engages with La Chica Roja, with La Chica Roja. When an investigator engages with a La Chica Roja moves, disengage her from that investigator. Okay, so she doesn't follow us. Okay, uh, we could actually also defeat her. But I think I would like to parlay with her. Okay, so um, enemy face, enemy hits us for one damage. Four. Upkeep, we draw a card, flashlight, gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a doom, so five of seven encounter card for this round is in plain sight, attached to an enemy in the shadows if you cannot in play sight gain search. So we search that. Uh, cat and mouse, peril search. If there is a concealed minicard at your location, you may expose it. If an enemy minicard would be exposed to this effect, instead flip it back over and show it face down with the concealed minicards at your location. So it just searches. Figures in the dark, peril. If there are no enemies, this searches. Okay, well. Uh, but seeing in shadows in the plane, your threat area. After you fail a skill that's while at the location with the concealed minion card, take one for. Okay. First action. Uh, we will parlay. Uh, I am parling. Or should I just uh, evade and sneak attack? That is an option. But I think I would like to try to. Uh, parlay. So first action we parlay. We'll commit grappling hook and nimble to the test and pilfer. Why not? Uh, so we are six, seven, eight, nine, ten versus six, and we. So we are up by four. So we need to succeed. I think there's no minus. Uh, for okay, cultist is a minus five, so hopefully we won't draw a cultist. Uh, <laughs> it is a tablet, so cancel the effects and icons of each card committed to skill test. So we don't get any of these icons, but still we succeed fairly. So six versus six, so we succeed in polling. So if an investigator parlays with Logic Aroha advance. They get away. Uh, find the location with a target on it nearest to Logic Aroha. Place that target on the scenario reference card. Just take this one. Then, if there are three or targets on the scenario reference card, skip the rest of this act and instead proceed to scenario interlude, cast a light, otherwise continue reading reading the following. 
fine, you can have this one. The mysterious thief calls to you as she makes her escape. There's more where that came from anyway. Before you can catch her, with a twirl of her stark red coat, she vanishes into the shadows without a trace. Heal all damage from La Chica Roja, return her to the shadows and resolve her concealed keyword, distributing each of those concealed minicars as evenly as possible amongst each location with a target. Reset the act and agenda decks to agenda 1 and act 1. Each investigator loses each of their clues. Add clues to each location until it has clues equal to its clue value. Okay, well, we lose this, so we'll put this here. But Chica Roja goes to the shadows. And uh, Concealed 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Dropped one. It's a bit slippery with sleeves, but I like it so that the, the, the cards themselves won't wear down. Okay, so on locations with targets on them. And we'll go here probably, so I'll put an extra one there. So uh, then we continue. We'll move to here. Oh dear, four straw, two clues, so that pilfer would have been really good at this place. Okay. And two mini cards here. So, uh, fast action, look at the revealed side of a concealed mini card at this location without revealing it, then draw the top card of the encounter deck. You may spend two clues to cancel that card's effect and discard it. Okay, well. Last action, we'll investigate here using this. Uh, we are 6, 7 versus 4, minus 4. Uh, we actually fail a test. So, after you fail a skill test with uh, the location with the concealed mini card, take one for that. Is not nice. I'll just change this to a 3. Okay, and that is our turn. No enemy access to the total upkeep. Uh, we draw this guys. We gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, and these are resetted. But um, this is Act One or uh, Agenda One already. So I think we don't remove the doom here. Okay, so the encounter card for this round is uh, in plain sight. So attach to an enemy in the shadows without a copy of plain sight attached. If you cannot get searched, after you expose the attached enemy, that enemy attacks you and gets plus two fight until the end of the round. Discard in plain sight. Okay. Uh, doesn't affect us at this moment, but first action we'll try to investigate. Actually. I'll play Kicking the Hornet's Nest. So search the top 9 cards of the encounter deck for a non-elite enemy and spawn it in case with you instead of its normal spawn location. Then discover one clue at your location and gain one X resources where X is that enemy's health value. Shuffle the encounter deck. So I'm playing that first action. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, we find a bound knight coming. Okay. We gain a resource, uh, a clue here, and we gain X resources for uh, access to health. So we gain six, uh, three, three resources. So we have plenty of resources. <coughs> okay. Well. So this enemy is engaged with us. Then... So 
so let's see what this hunt, uh, enemy does. So Bound Knight Count has 1.3 health, 3 evade, Monster Knight Count Hunter. While attacking Knight Count, uh, double the negative modifier of each revealed Chaos token. So this is reverse of the other Knight Counts. And this has two, that deals true horror. So we will evade this guy. Evading uh, 7 versus 3. Minus 2, evaded. Last action, we will... Uh, we will evade again, so we are uh, using the dirty fighting, so 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 versus 3. Minus two, so we de uh, succeed by enough, so this enemy is discarded. And that is our turn, no enemies will go to upkeep, we draw a card, beyond charge, and we gain a resource. So, that is that round, let's go to the next round. So we add a doom, uh, the agenda advances. So we leave one there, and bamboozled, hot on the thief's heels, you bust, bust through the door leading to the co current target only to find her already leaving with the piece of the statue, uh, statuette. She gives you a mischievous smirk bef uh, before escaping through a nearby window, reveal it's not Concealed mini card in play and set aside deco out of play. Uh, reveal each concealed mini card in play and set each decoy aside out of play. Find the location with at least uh, with the target on its nearest to Lachikaroha. Mini card Lachikaroha collects that target. Uh, if there are three or more targets uh, on Lachikaroha, proceed to resolution three. Otherwise, it's all about Chikaro has concealed keyword disturbing each those concealed minicars as evenly as possible amongst location with the target. We set the act and agenda decks to act agenda one and act one. Uh, add close to each location. Okay. But we don't lose our clues this time. So we uh, we were at the right location. So La Chikaroha steals this one. Then we grab all of these, uh, we shuffle, so no point staying here, okay, shuffle, shuffle, so one, two, three, four, uh, let's put one here and one here, okay, then we get an encounter card, Oh yeah, we reset the clues, so this guy gets one. Uh, outsmarted, test, uh, we, intellect 4, if you fail you must decide, choose one place when doing the current agenda. This can cause it to advance, or the nearest coterie enemy attacks you. Okay, so we can't uh, choose the other one, so we fail, we just place one doom. We fail, we place one doom. That is it. Okay, uh, first action, we'll move here. So, three shroud, one clue, act, uh, action spent X clues uh, uh, and tries as many resources. Look at the revealed side of X concealed mini cars at this location without exposing them. So, I'll think, I, I have plenty of clues and resources to do that. Uh, so, Second action, I will spend uh, one clue and three resources. And this is a decoy, so we just leave it be. Last action, uh, we'll play the Eon Charge. And it comes into play with uh, three secrets. Uh, 
and uh, last uh, well we'll immediately use one as uh, at the first ability we can so we'll move here and that is around so uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep we draw a card lucky cigarette case and we gain wisdom that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom. Three of seven. Encounter card is uh, heavy rain. Test uh, intellect, uh, intellect three or willpower three actually. For each point you fail by, you must either take one horror or place one of your clues onto your location. Uh, committing this and nothing else. So I am testing four versus three. Uh, it is a minus one, so we succeed and we don't take it for lucky. We had the cigarette case. Okay, well, first action. We'll move up here. Casa Rosada. Uh, four shroud, two clues. Uh, action spend one clue and test intellect four. Observe the staff. You may spend one additional clue to reduce the difficulty of this test by two. If you succeed, look at the revealed side of a concealed mini card at this location uh, for e uh, without exposing it. For each two points, you succeed by look at an additional mini card. I think we are not doing that. We have to risk it. Uh, second action. Okay, there are two clues here. We will uh, invest. We will just uh, take some damage here and we'll evade. So, 7 versus 4. Actually, I'll play the disc, guys. And then I will evade with the disguise. Uh, I'm evading 9 versus 4. It is a minus 1, uh, is it, as it's a skull. And we'll reveal this one. It is a decoy, so we take 1 damage and 1 horror. As uh, La Chikaroha attacks us. Running out of health here. Okay, no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card. Breaking and entering. And we gain a resource. Uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Four of seven. Encounter card is. Uh, coterie envoy. Uh, so, human and coterie aloof patrol nearest location with a coterie. Concealed mini card and no coterie envoy. While coterie envoy is ready, concealed mini cards at this location cannot be exposed. After you defeat coterie and uh, envoy, look at the revealed side of any concealed mini card in play. So I think we want to reveal this one. So uh, it is aloof, but we will engage, evade. Uh, evading 7 versus 2. Actually, we will play breaking and entering here. And I'm exhausting Chuck to play it uh, as a fast action. Uh, we are. Mm, our agility is 6, so 8 versus 4. Minus 4. Uh, we su succeed. Uh, so we succeed. We don't take an attack of opportunity. We get a clue, but we don't uh, evade this guy. So we'll just evade normally. So 7 versus 2. 
minus one, so we succeed. This is evaded. And the last action we will. Okay, uh, we actually won't defeat this, but. Yeah, we'll just evade again, so. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, versus 3, basically. Or 2. So, uh, we succeed by. Three or more, so this is discarded, but it is not defeated, so we don't get to trigger that ability. But at least we get rid of that. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a Faustian bargain and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom five of seven and counter cardies. Figures in the dark, if there are no enemies, okay, so each enemy in the shadow stacks you, each investigator loses an action. I'll lose an action, I don't have health to spare, or, or sanity, that much. So, first action, we will just evade and try to see if this card is the correct one, so 7 versus 4. Minus 1. So we succeed. It is uh, La Chica Roja. So. Okay. Uh, after you expose a touch enemy, that enemy attacks you and gets plus one. Uh, two fight until the end of the round. Discard in plain sight. Okay. Now these are removed. Okay. And. Uh, uh, then uh, we yeah we take one damage and one horror so Chuck will get those Chuck should be ready uh, we will evade I'm using the disguise as our last action so uh, evading five six seven eight nine against five minus one. Uh, evaded. Then I will use Chuck and pay two resources to play sneak attack, dealing two damage. So we defeat her, we advance. So expose. Once again, you beat your rival to the punch and she spots you immediately. You again, she says dismissively. Don't you have anything better to do? I'm quite busy, as you can see. Oh yeah, uh, that we should have read uh, uh, before. So then uh, if La Chica Roja would be defeated instead advance uh, the getaway. So again, we put this target here and uh, we get this one, heal all damage. And uh, return her to the shadows, uh, resolving the keyword. Each investigator loses their clues. Okay. Oh, yeah, and this was discarded. So, and we replenish the clues. And uh, do the conceal one, two, three, four, five. Two locations with targets, so there will be two at each location. Two, three, two, three. That is our turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. Oh, yeah, uh, we reset this back to here. And uh, Yeah, so that is that round. Uh, we'll draw. Actually, yeah, we'll draw a card. Took a phobia, and we gain a resource. So that is 
bad because if we fail a skill test, we'll take to horror, which will uh, defeat us basically. So not good. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Six of seven encounter card is a pinch in reality. Peril, you must either choose one, spend one clue, or choose and discard half of the non weakness cards in your hand, round it up. So I'll discard the cards, as I don't have any clues. I'll keep the calculated risk and lose this trick. First two actions. We'll get rid of this one. Uh, we'll use the Ion chart to move. Go here. So, Cathedral, uh, Metropolitana, 5 Shroud, 1 Clue, spend 1 Clue and test Agility 4 to watch the rooftops of the Cathedral. You may spend 1 additional Clue to reduce the difficulty of this test by 2. If you succeed, look at the revealed side of a concealed mini card at this location uh, without exposing. For each 2 points you succeed by look at the an additional mini card at this location. So, that is what we want to do, definitely. So, last action, we will investigate using the Thieves Kit. Uh, investigating... Uh, let's see, 5, 6, 7, versus 5, and I'll commit the calculated risk, so... So, plus 3, so 10 versus 5. Minus 5. So we get one resource only, but we still succeed, and we get the clue. <coughs> Let's see, so uh, if you fail, buy, so we don't fail, so that's okay. And uh, nothing else happens, so we'll go to upkeep, we draw Agent <laughs> Fletcher, hello. And we gain a resource, so that's not good, but it is what it is, so... That is that round. Uh, let's go to the next round. Uh, we had a doom, so we advance the agenda. So again, reveal its concealed mini card. So uh, La Chica Roja would have been here, so she gets this. Okay, so we conceal her again. Okay, well, now I need to deal with Agent Fletcher, then uh, try to do this test on this location. So we split these concealed cards like so. Then we will uh, get an encounter card. Heavy rain. <coughs> oh, sorry, a bit of coffee here. Okay. So heavy rain. Um, nothing to commit, so we are probably losing flu or taking. Or this might kill us. So three versus three, minus two. That that's it. So we fail by two. We take two horror. Uh, one kills this uh, chuck. Then one, we take one horror, and we would have taken one horror from here. So unfortunately, uh, we are actually. Let's back up. So I would definitely use this at this moment. So we didn't die. So we'll just back up slightly. So Chuck still has these damages. Okay. Well. That's used now. Mm. Okay. We passed this by a... Just barely. Uh, first action, we will evade uh, Agent Fletcher. 
uh, we will not use the disguise, so 7 versus 3. Minus 1. Evaded. We'll use the disguise and evade also using dirty fighting, so... We are... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 versus 3. Minus 2. So we discard Ancient Fletcher. And we'll try to do the agility test here. So I'm spending a clue. And we are testing 5, 6, uh, 6 versus. Uh, is it 4? Yeah, 6 versus 4. Zero, uh, we succeed, and we succeed by two or more, so we get to check two cards here. Okay, so we know that the top card here is the La Chica Roja. Uh, last action. No, we don't have any... Uh, no, not the last action. Last action we will... So the top card we need to reveal. Uh, we'll draw a card. Yeah. Nice. Uh, that's, that's really good. Okay, so no enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw a card. Backstab. That's great. And uh, we gain a resource. So that is that round. Uh, let's go to the next round. We had a doom. One, uh, there should be one already there. So two of seven encounter card is a locked door. Uh, that's the location with the most clues. Put it over here. First action. We're taking a bit of a risk. We can't afford to use that, uh, get rid of that this round. So uh, we will, uh, actually we can. We'll use two actions. We will use Eon Sharp to evade. Is it uh, move, evade, or investigate? So we'll use that to evade. So evading. Uh, committing that. So five, six, seven. 8, 9 versus 5. Minus 1. We'll reveal this one. Oh, surprise, it's La Chica Roja. We get rid of all of these. And she is engaged with us. And uh, la last action, we will backstab. And I'll, uh, actually not the last action, I will play it as a fast action with uh, Chuck Fergus. And uh, we are fighting against three, so agility, let's see. Uh, we fight with our agility, which is six. So we spent three, six versus three, minus one, we deal three damage, so uh, again we reveal this and we defeat it and now we grab this here and uh, let's see, skip the rest of this act and instead proceed to scenario interlude, cast a light, otherwise continue reading the following. So we read the interlude. I'm just skimming through it and... Uh, so we...
So we get the uh, resolution one, apparently. And resolution one is uh, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory axe value of each card in the victory display, which is uh, actually. Uh, it is one because Achikaroha is in the victory display. Then uh, uh, each investigator earns one bonus experience for each target that was on the scenario reference card when the scenario ended. So it's three, so we get four. New Campalog record, you haven't seen the last of Lachikaroha. Choose an investigator to be the bearer of the Weeping Lady and update the Campalog accordingly. Mark one time in your Campalog you may mark. Okay, well, that is the end of the scenario. Oh boy, that uh, I, I think this is one of the more interesting ones I have played during this uh, campaign. But yeah, really different again from some of the others. But that worked pretty good. We were nearly dead to horror, but we were just able to defeat La Chica Roja and uh, get the, let's see what it is, so we get the Weeping Lady, so shift, discover one clue at your location or connecting location, click this key to unstable side. Uh, each investigator must discard an asset, they control with able, then if an investigator shifted this key, flipped it to the stable side, so really good, nice addition to my collection. Oh yeah, and okay, we didn't get to see this uh, bonus act here or agenda, so I am not revealing that that much. But that was the end of the scenario. I think I played it correctly. Uh, let me know in the comments if you noticed any mistakes I made, but. It is what it is. This is a blind playthrough for this scenario for me. So I think it went pretty well. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.